Hello everyone. In this video, we will locate the centroid of the composite shape. In the previous video, we learned what is centroid, how to locate it. Here we will solve a problem. We have this composite shape. You see, it is somehow a C type shape. We want to find the centroid of this uh, composite shape. We know that this shape lies in the first quadrant and the 0, 0, the origin point is here. Now, we learned in the previous video, we want to find the x and y uh, points in this Cartesian coordinate system. Right? So, if it is in the first quadrant, we need x and y. And that x and y will give us where is the centroid. So, x and that, we learned in the formula that x point is equal to sum of ax divided by sum of a. And y point is equal to sum of ay divided by sum of a. Now from this shape we need to find the sum of ax. First step is what? We will divide this shape into sub shape or we can say into common geometrical shapes. As many are possible. If you look into this, this shape is comprised of three rectangle. Look here, we can say that this is, if we draw a line here, this could be rectangle 1. If we draw a line here, this could be rectangle 2 and this one is rectangle 3. So we have three common geometrical shape now, 1, 2 and 3 and all of them are rectangle. Now for all these, we want to find the area moment, right? which is AX, but area moment for shape 1, for 2 and for 3. We add the area moment, divide by total area of the shape, we divide by it. So in that case, what we need? We need to find the area of this, area of this, area of this, which will give us the total area. And we will use the area and the area moment as well. So what is A1 here? Look here. I will write it here, let's see. What is A1? Look into this shape. It has a height 20 millimeter and the length you can say 10 plus 20, 30 millimeter. So the area of a rectangle is we can say that it is 30 times 20. It will give us A1, which is what? Which is 600 millimeter square. Now look into shape number 2. We need to find A2. So in shape number 2, if you look here it is given at the top. The, the, the length here is 10 millimeter. So how much is the height from here to here? If you look into here, it is given 30. So 30 times 10 or 10 times 30. Right? So 10 times 30 that is 10 times 30 is equal to 300 millimeter square so this is the area of shape number two now we have shape three look here what we have we have the length 60 mm and the height or the width whatever you call it is 10 mm so a3 is 600 sorry 60 it is 60 mm times 10 which gave us 600 mm square so same area like the previous one but this the length of this one is more in that one the length is shown so we found area a1 area a2 area a3 now what we need to find, if you look into this formula, if we expand this, it is actually what? It is A1 X1 plus A2 X2 plus A3 X3 divided by A1 plus A2 plus A3. So in this formula, we have everything but except X1, X2, X3. 
we need to find x1, x2 and x3. Now as I told you before, x1 is what is the distance of the centroid of shape number 1 which is this one to the origin which is this one in the x direction so or in the horizontal direction. So what we have to do, this is a common geometrical shape, we know where is its centroid, we will draw the diagonal you see here and wherever the diagonal intersect which is this point it gave us the centroid of shape number one now from this point to zero zero what is the the uh, you can say the the distance so look here we know that from here to here it is 10 uh, and from here to here it is 20 so total length from here to here is 30 so the centroid of the rectangle it will lie in the center right because the diagonal intersect at the, the center of 30 so center of 30 is what from here to here this distance and it is 15 mm because in the x direction from origin, this is origin line, right? 0, 0. X is 0 here. So from 0, 0 line to the centroid of shape 1, how much it is far? It is 15 mm far. So X1, I will write X1 is 15 mm. Now I need to find X2. And for X2, we have shape 2, which is again rectangle. I will draw the diagonal. Look here and the diagonal intersect here. Now it should be the center of the width of the triangle. Now the width of the triangle total is how much? 10. This is total is 10. So from here to here this distance will be 5 mm. Now 5 mm is x2. Right? Now we need to find x3. And x3 is what? The centroid of this shape. We, we need to locate it. And it is, if we draw the diagonal, this is, these are the diagonal. So it intersect here. And it should be in the middle of 60. So 60 we have, in the middle of 60 will be 30. So we have x3 is 30 m. Now we have x, uh, a1, a2, a3, we have x1, x2, x3. So from this, what we can do, we can find the x position. In the x uh, direction or in the horizontal direction, how much is the centroid far from the origin? So we, will, we need to put all the values here in this uh, equation. Right? So let me put this one, we will solve below, right? I will remove from here. And look here. So A1 is what? 600 times X1 which is 15 plus A2 which is 300 times X2 which is 5 mm, right? Plus a3 again 600 times the distance x3 which is 30 mm divide by a1 a2 a3 so what is a1 600 plus 300 again plus 600 a3 so this we have to so 600 times 15 plus 300 times 5 plus 600 times 30 divided by 600 plus 300 plus 600. This will give us x bar. So if you do this calculation using calculator, x bar will be equal to, you, you have to put all these values in the calculator or you find this one first and then divide with this. It is up to you. So this will give you 19 mm.
which is what which is which tell us that the centroid of this composite shape is 19 mm away in the horizontal direction from 0 0 but with that 19 could be look here if we draw from here <coughs> so that 19 is somehow here right so this total line from here to here this total line is 19 mm away now we need another point to locate whether it is here 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 or where so for that we need to find y right so for y what we need we need a1 a2 a3 which we already have we need to find y1 y2 y3 the distance is in the y direction right so what is y1 the centroid of shape number one is this one right so the distance from the centroid of shape one to the origin so if you draw a line from here this is the centroid and this is the origin so this distance how much is this distance it is y1 in the y direction how much is the centroid of shape one away from the origin so look this is 20 so if you divide this shape into two so we have 10 here then we have 30 so 40 and then we have the last 10 so 50 so 50 mm is this distance 50 mm so y1 is 50 mm now y2 what is y2 the shape number two we have where is the shape two this is shape two and this is the centroid of shape two right so how much it is far this shape from the origin this much this distance you see this will give us y2 now look how much is this distance we if you go from 0 0 we have this one triangle the height of this triangle is 10 and then this is the middle of 30 so half of 30 is 15 plus 10 is 25 so we have 25 m so 25 mm is what is y2 we need to find y3 y3 is the distance of shape 3 like the centroid of shape 3 is how much far from the origin so where is the centroid of shape 3 this one you see if you draw a line in this way and we have the origin here so this small distance is y3 and this small distance is what half of 10 the height of this rectangle is 10 so it will be 5 5 mm so it means y3 is 5 mm now what we will do we will take areas and the distances in the y direction we will find the area moment and then we will add similarly like what we did here so here if I write the formula for the shape uh, for this shape in the y direction so what will be the formula look here the y bar is equal to sum of a y divided by sum of a now what is a y is the area moment in the y direction so I can write like this way a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 divide by total area a1 plus a2 plus a3 right this will give me y bar now what I have to do I have to just put the value and get the value right so I will put the value here a1 is what 600 time y1 which is 50 plus a2 is 300 times y2 which is 25 plus a3 is again 600 times y3 which is 5 divide by a1 600 plus 300 plus 600 total area a1 a2 a3 now you put this whole thing in the calculator calculate it and you will get that y bar is equal to 27 
so we got x bar from here we got sorry this is y bar and here we got x bar now we know the xx line right it is this much far we need to draw the 27 mm in the y direction so we this 27 mm look here we start from 0 and if we go up this is 10 up till here because the height of this one is 10 and then the middle this 25 mm the centroid of shape number 2 is 25 mm away in the y direction so just two points above the 25 so this is 25 so we will have 25 line here it's 27 line here right so this is 27 now wherever this xx line and the y y line intersect each other that point which is this point you see this point is the centroid of shape number uh, sh of the composite shape which is this total shape and this is what x and y and we can even write that x is 19 y is 27 so this is the centroid of this whole composite shape and this is the way how we locate the centroid of this composite shape any composite shape we can use the similar way right but for this one we have the complete procedure and we saw so any shape just we need to follow this step first we have to divide that shape into common geometrical shape right maybe two three four whatever is it and then we apply the first moment of area like this formula to find the x and y or we call it x bar and y bar which will tell us where is the centroid and as I told you before that this is geometrical concept not related to mass related concept so that's why you see here even this centroid is not in within the shape the shape is this c type right but the, this centroid is outside the shape so it could be outside the shape because it is geometrical concept so this is how we find the centroid of any composite shape.